Growing your hair out seems like it's gonna be the best idea ever, especially when you're super motivated because you just got inspired by a celebrity or a TV show or an awesome movie. But then you actually grow your hair out and you realize that some things in your life start to change. And you're like, wait a second. So here are three things I wish I knew before I started growing out my hair. Okay, number one, you will be a more polarizing figure, right? Not everybody likes long hair on guys. Some people love it, some people hate it, but here's the good news. Most people won't care. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. But for better or worse, more people will start to notice you, especially that you're a man with long hair. Why is that such a big deal? I don't know, but people do notice it. Family members will make comments, friends will make comments, strangers will stare. So if you're not used to attention about your appearance, you know, get used to it, it's coming. Now the staring doesn't necessarily mean that people don't do or don't like it, it's just they don't see it often, right? You know, will you get rejected quicker for dates? Maybe. Will you get accepted quicker for dates? Maybe, right? To some people it's a kink, to others it's a turnoff. So you're no longer in this middle, like please everyone realm, when you grow your hair out, you're choosing a societal extreme, especially as a guy. At least here in the US you are. I can't really speak for other countries and other cultures, but here in the US you are sort of falling into a quote unquote societal extreme. It's not the cultural norm. It might affect your work. It might affect your boss making comments. No, God, no, God, please, no, no. No! It might affect interviews. I have a whole video on how you can wear long hair professionally in the workplace. I'll link to it in the description. But the good news is most of it will be positive, at least to your face, right? And, and unless you have like a bitter grandma who's super traditional and hates anything besides a comb over and every time you walk in the room, she makes a comment. But most comments will overwhelmingly be positive, especially if you learn how to take care of it really well and it looks good. You don't look, you know, jobless or homeless. Most of the comments will be positive. And that actually leads me to the second thing I wish I knew before growing out my hair is that there is a learning curve. So I heard an analogy about hair from a doctor on YouTube. I think it was from the hair loss show, but he said that hair is like a rope, right? Hair is dead, at least outside of your scalp. Your hair is dead. A rope is dead. But if you don't take care of a rope when it's exposed to pollution, salt water, UV exposure, whatever, it can get brittle, it can dry out, it can snap. The same thing happens with your hair if you don't take care of it. And when you're a guy with short hair, you can pretty much use any products you want off the shelves and expose it to any elements because in two to three weeks, you'll be back at the barber trimming it back down. So you don't have time to do damage to your hair before you decide to just chop it off again. So that's why with short hair, it's mostly always shiny and luscious. Obviously there's learning curves with short hair on how to style it and what products to use, but in terms of hair health, it's mostly always shiny and luscious because there's no time to damage it before you cut it off again. So when you have long hair, you're probably not gonna see the barber for at least a year or two, maybe every six months for a maintenance trim or a shape up. So if you have any bad habits from how you cared for your short hair, they're all about to be exposed during this time. And this is why you'll need to learn how to care for it, how to keep it healthy. So how do you do that? Well, the number one way to do that is to discover what your hair type is. This is gonna be your map. This is gonna help you find the best products and regimen to care for your hair. I've talked about this in probably every single video I've published. So if you're a long time subscriber, I sound like a broken record at this point. But for example, if you have fine textured hair like I do, meaning one hair strand is so thin that you can barely feel it in your fingers, then you're going to want something that is volumizing and strengthening because our hair gets weighed down by heavy products and it breaks easily. So that means we need a lightweight formula with strengthening something like keratin or hydrolyzed protein. And if you have coarse hair, you probably want something protein free, something heavier because your hair has more keratin and it needs heavier products because otherwise you'll have a huge poof ball, right? So I'm not gonna go into detail about what each category of your hair type is. I have a whole other video on that linked in the description. It's 30 minutes long. I break down every single component of hair types, what each one means. But if you're looking to figure out what your hair type is, you can download my free app, Mannered Mains, and take my free hair type quiz. It's in the Google Play Store and the App Store. You can figure out your hair hair type in about 30 seconds, as well as enter into a community of like-minded men who are also on their hair beard growth journey. So go check out the app today.
day. I also have a Facebook group, Mannered Means, where you don't have to download anything, it's just on Facebook. But if you wanna avoid social media, I know a lot of people are nowadays, then go download the app. So the next thing I wish I knew is that I would probably want to give up about halfway through. I didn't know that when I started, but as I got there, I started feeling discouraged, right? So when you watch shows like The Witcher or movies like Lord of the Rings, like you see guys with long hair and you think, yeah, that's badass, I want that. And then you go down the path and realize that one, it takes a long time, you know, at least two years. Two, people are starting to comment, they're starting to stare, they're starting to question what you're doing. And then number three, you realize I have to learn how to care for it now, and this is gonna take a lot of time. I don't want all this added responsibility, I don't want all this added attention, my hair isn't looking how I thought it would anyways, I this is, this is too much, I just wanna give up. But the important thing to remember, especially if this is your first time trying to grow your hair out, is that new things are always hard before they're easy. So if you can hold on for a little bit, put in a little bit of time to learning about this journey, how to care for your hair, your hair type, it will get easier. It's not gonna be hard forever. You'll learn a perfect regimen and things will start to go on autopilot and you will have an awesome mane every single day. Secondly, the best way to not give up is to also join a community. And I mentioned the app, you can download at the app, there's a community in there. There's also my Facebook group of 16,000 guys who are all on their hair be a growth journey. So go check out the app, go check out the Facebook group, have these guys, you know, if you have any struggles, any questions, any problems, even just say, hey, I'm not feeling too good about this journey. Like they'll come and they'll lift you up and be like, yo, you got this. Let's do it. So if you are on your hair growth journey, you're just starting, you're halfway through, you're on it for the second or third time, maybe you're trying to go at it again. These are some things to keep in mind and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.